Hi everyone. In this episode, we'll be discussing the management and treatment of tumors of the jaw at the National Cancer Center of Singapore. We have a multidisciplinary team of healthcare professionals to treat this group of patients. We believe this comprehensive approach can better prepare our patients for their treatment. The multidisciplinary team consists of head and neck surgeon, oral maxillofacial surgeon, head and neck reconstruction surgeon, clinical psychologist, speech therapist, dietitian, occupational therapist, physiotherapist, and nurses from Singapore General Hospital, National Cancer Centre Singapore, and National Dental Centre Singapore. Tumours of the jaw can happen to the lower jaw or upper jaw. It can happen to anyone, from children to adults. It can occur as a single lesion or as multiple lesions. Causes of tumours of the jaw can arise from tooth-related or non-tooth-related causes. Most lumps are developmental, but some of the multiple lumps can be hereditary in nature. Symptoms Some of the signs and symptoms that might occur with cancer of the jaw include swelling of the jaw, pain from the jaw, numbness of the lower lip and chin, numbness of front part of the tongue, difficulty in biting or chewing, and facial deformities. Treatment of tumours of the jaw will require surgery for removal and it can range from simple surgery or a removal of segment of the whole mandible and that will require reconstruction. Preserving the jaw functions and aesthetical presentation are key objectives of the surgery. 3D imaging technology is used to pre-plan the surgery. Both the removal and reconstruction of the jaw surgery will be done within the same operation setting. The 3D image and technology enables precise design and cutting guides for surgeons. This enables them to cut the jaw more accurately as planned and reconstruct to improve the appearance and enable optimal jaw functionality like chewing. The 3D technology benefits the most complex surgeries where surgeons had to harvest bone from a patient's leg to replace bone lost in patient's jaw during cancer surgery. Patients scheduled for surgery will be referred to the nurse clinician for initial assessment and subsequently to the allied health professional clinic. The allied health professional clinic consists of the clinical psychologist, speech and language therapist, dietitian and the physical therapist. The purpose of the allied health clinic is to prepare and support patients in their rehabilitation, nutrition and emotional needs pre and post surgery. Cancer brings extraordinary challenges to the patient and their families. Before the surgery, our clinical psychologist will do a baseline assessment to assess the patient's coping resources and well-being. After the surgery, our clinical psychologist will follow up closely with the patient and their families to address their concerns and to optimise recovery. To learn about head and neck surgery and reconstruction and other types of head and neck cancers, you can contact the National Cancer Centre Singapore at 6436-8000 or visit our website at www.nccs.com.sg.